Hello world. Another beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Tuesday. Here, here goes another week for you. Alright, let's do this. So, you got Apple versus Epic, right? <laughs> They're in court. So guess who turns is it now? Google. <laughs> so no one is exempt from court, huh? Alright. <laughs> So basically, this lawsuit is about app fairness. Uh, Google charging 30% for every transaction it made. Google plays the middleman. Google uh, controls 99% of the mobile app market, and it's making harder. It's making <laughs> it's making it hard on competition. You know. Um, so basically, people, people. This lawsuit is about. You know, not letting Google have a monopoly on the mobile app market. Um, it talks about how Microsoft and Amazon have tried. There was an article last year where, Mar where uh, I think Bill Gates said he missed out on a four hundred billion dollar mobile, four, a four hundred billion dollar mobile app market. So I guess when, so when they brought up Microsoft and Amazon in this article, I know where, I know where, they, I know where it comes from now. So, but then. Epic, Epic is in court with Apple over the over the same thing that Google is doing, but now Epic is also joining the coalition. The article talks about Epic is joining the coalition, you know, to support this court case against Google, you know, because of app, they they want app fairness. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> Says here, Google app, Google Play and apps. Google Play App Store sued by 36 states in antitrust lawsuit. Attorneys representing 36 different states filed a lawsuit against Google, alleging the company of a monopoly and anti-competitive practices. With while attention has been focused on Epic antitrust lawsuit against Apple, it seems that it seems the Google Play service has become a better target for other parties. <laughs> this part, this past week, sorry about that, attorneys from 36 states and Washington DC filed an antitrust lawsuit against Google. Like with Epic versus Apple, the lawsuit focus on Google fees of up to 30%. Accusing Google of being a monopoly and using that market power to force business and consumer to pay unreasonable cost. <laughs> says <clears throat> the the lawsuit comes from states including California, New York, Arizona, North Carolina, Florida, Kentucky, Minnesota, and over a dozen others. With the case being filed in the Northern District of California as Google likely requires the official complaint reads that these parties are filing to enjoin Google from unlawful restraining trade maintaining monopolies tied to Android apps and for payment process of Android apps further the lawsuit seek to obtain redress for a consumer as well so basically the lawsuit is going after Google, but it's also protecting the consumers. So anyway, it says here, Apple, it says here, whoops, wrong, wrong, wrong one. It says here, more specifically, <laughs> the lawsuit accused Google of closing the Android ecosystem from competition. So instead of, and so basically, instead of going to Android, now you want to go, you, you got go to go to Google. <laughs> In, a, in order to insert itself as an inescapable middle man between developers and users. In this position, Google takes up to 30% of every transaction made through Android. Hmm. Google then uses anti-competitive strategies to ensure its own app distribution software is used and that others cannot exceed. So basically, when Google inserts itself as a middleman, you are now forced to use their apps 
versus using the Android app. Mm. Anyway, it says, as well as preventing apps from finding success through other Android distribution software as well. Mm. Yeah, this, this, is a this is a serious case. It says here, arguing that Google has established itself as a monopoly, the lawsuit alleged that smart mobile devices are essential tool in American life. From there, Android has made itself the only viable operating system available to smart mobile device manufacturers. Google then forces its Play distribution software, meaning Google Play, to be installed on all devices devices where Android is installed. So, insert, so what Google did was insert itself as the middleman, but then they, they want you to use their app. So that will drive. So you, they want they want you to use their app. So that's like it's like a, a like a uh, like a like a, like your first option before you can even get to the Android app. And while that is happening, that will make <laughs> the user rate for the for the uh, for the Google uh, Google Play app go up. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, where, where am I at? It says here, software to be installed on all devices where the where Android app is installed. The lawsuit notes that corporations including Microsoft and Amazon have failed to enter this market, which Google now controls approximately 99% of. So basically, go every time, every time you try to like. You know, you try to <laughs> Google insert itself, right? So they they want to be the first option you see before you can do anything else, and like that will like make the user their 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 user rate of Google Play go up, you know, and that will like stifle the competition and then like like choke them out, you know, because <laughs> because be, <laughs> because of the user rate of Google Play. Anyway, let me continue. It says here to refute Google likely claim that android device allow for multiple software distribution app right but then but if that's the case then why are you playing the middleman <laughs> you know what i'm saying so anyway and is there open the lawsuit alleged the google play store distributes over 90 percent of all android apps further that no other Android app store has more than five percent of the market. <laughs> anyway, in response to the lawsuit, Google claims that it imposes less restriction than other mobile platforms do. This is perhaps a reference to how Apple blocks other software distribution on its devices, which is currently being used by Epic Games over. Epic has since issued a statement supporting this new lawsuit against Google as a part of its coalition for app fairness. App stores have been given a free pass to abuse their dominant market position for too long. <laughs> Changes coming people. And it says a court date for the Google Play case may take some time to be announced expect to hear more about it in months to come so you got Apple versus Epic over the same situation but now they add they two cents to the Google the Google Play uh, Google, Google Play court case yeah um, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a, a, a this is gonna be a good court case when you really look at it you know you know because basically what Google is doing is like being the middleman and then blocking blocking you know other app store this other app store from uh, other app store distribution from from you know from the from from your uh from the users and then they're like when when they when they play the middleman is like Google wants Google play to be the first option you see versus seeing Android or seeing anything else. So this um this uh 
this lawsuit is going to be uh, it's going it's a it's a it's a, it's a big one, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, it's a big one. And when you got 36 states filing a lawsuit against your company, that's serious, you know. They must have been, they, 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 this, these 36 states plus others, others are going to come in on this too. So these 36 states um, that filed this lawsuit, they probably got, they probably noticed a pattern, a pattern that was happening, a trend that was happening. And they know this probably like unfair practices, and then complain, you know, complaints start to build up, and then there's only one way to fix this problem through the courts, you know, because if they didn't do this, if they didn't file this uh, lawsuit right now, Google could have could have really ch choked out the competition when it comes to this old this this Google Play. Uh, I mean, when it comes to uh, uh, Google Play. So this lawsuit is pretty big, man, and uh, and then you got Epic who is fighting Apple over the same situation. They had their two, they had their two cents to it. So they want app fairness. Yeah, this is a big case, people. <laughs> it's a big case. So yeah, get your popcorn ready for this one. Anyway, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box with this article so you can look at it. But uh, nice talking to you people again, Chris. Still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Bored, dark side. Um, go. Peace. Oh.